Now, Fort Park is well known for its big thrill rides and roller coasters, but it also has, or had, a land called Angry Birds Land, theme to the Angry Birds video game series. And the park have today announced that Angry Birds Land will be closing tomorrow, that being the 31st of October 2023, the last day of the 2023 season. So this land will not be returning for 2024 after operating at the park for a total of 10 years. This departure is due to the IP, that being the intellectual property license, expiring. When parks get in these external IPs, they do tend to get either a 5 year or 10 year license. And the park have obviously chosen not to renew this IP, which to me makes absolutely total sense. I think it's a brilliant and logical decision. It did not fit with their mature target audience that they're going for at all. The first ever Angry Birds game came out in 2009 and over the past decade or so it's kind of just disappeared into thin air really so for that land to still be in a theme park it was honestly really weird. In terms of rides the land's home to three of them there's a Dodgems ride, there's a 4D cinema and there's the infamous drop tower known as Detonator Bombs Away which is honestly the best drop tower I've ever been on. It's really really forceful but don't worry because Fort Park have confirmed that all rides in that land will be staying. They're essentially all going to be getting new overlays and the land as a whole is going to be getting a brand new theme. Whether that is going to be an external intellectual property or something that Fort Park have made from the ground up is yet to be seen. However the fact that Hyperia Fort Park's new for 2024 roller coaster, which is also going to be the UK's tallest, isn't set to be an IP. And we're not seeing an IP come to Fort Park for around about five years now since they introduced the walking then in 2017. My assumption is that they're moving away from external IPs and Angry Birds is unlikely to be rethemed to one. Especially since they've also announced that they're essentially rebranding, they're getting a new logo, etc. So I wouldn't be surprised if the new land that's replacing Angry Birds Land does have something to do with that. Unfortunately, the park have also confirmed that they've got no plans in terms of new rides coming to that land next year, but who knows, they may well invest in some in the future because, let's face it, they are making so many changes at the moment. They're absolutely smashing it, honestly, and it's so good to see so much determination and just so many changes for the better this being one of them be sure to share your thoughts on this announcement and the future of fort park in the comments down below and honestly all these changes aren't the only exciting thing going on at fort park at the moment because it's still fright night so go on check my video out on the right side of your screen to see my fort park fright nights vlog because honestly that event was brilliant this year and for more things theme park related in the uk and beyond make sure you click the icon in the center of your screen to subscribe